Hollywood is using swimming pool while Nollywood they cross River Niger. This is the unfortunate loss of bubbly, enterprising, beautiful Nigerians in their quest to shoot a movie, unfortunately titled The Other Side of Life, which these brilliant actors have right now found themselves. Hello everyone, you're so much welcome. It took me hours, it's over 24 hours that the news broke. Because when the news broke, of course, we were jumping from one place to another to get the real details of what really happened, how it happened, and of course, prayers for those who are involved to be safe. It was a scattering of emotions when we heard about the capsizing of a boat that had some actors and some crew members who were crossing River Niger. Shortly before the incident, um, Junior Pope, who is a well-liked actor, did a video where he was saying that, ah, fear the Kachamo, that they on top of River Niger, that is the only one in, in the in parent ghetto, and he has three children that he has to raise, you know, three children to take care of, and I go take care of his children. Honestly, that was on his way there. And... It was quite frightening. And you know, people will make comments, drop comments, to be like, keep safe, or we hope you're okay, did, 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 things like that, and all of that. Hmm. Unfortunately, that was the last video of Ease we were going to see alive. The next videos we saw was him lying down, gone. At a point, they said, oh, they took him to uh, the herbalist, you know, to resuscitate him. And they did some rituals. The herbalist told them to take him to the hospital and all of that. So our race were hoped when they said, oh, okay, he's alive. He's not gone. We started praying. In fact, a lot of us were able to sleep at that point, saying that, okay, everything is fine. But man, everything was not fine. As unfortunately, the man passed on. Not only him, the makeup artist was also gone. Some other crew members were also gone. But him being the most popular was why they had so much noise around him. Now, for context, the shooting of the movie was not on River Niger. It didn't have to be, the scene doesn't have to be River Niger. But they had to cross the river to go to the other side where they were to, you know, do some scenes of the movie. So whether take or not take, it is part of... The process, right? The duty had called and they were going to, you know, do what they've been called upon to do. Now, this is one of the most unfortunate things and it has brought into light the endangering that a lot of Nigerians or actors do. Let's give kudos to them. Our actors are the best in the world. Our actors, our crew members are the best in the world. Out of nothing. Look at how we've made progress from the beginning of the olden days to theater plays to um, VCDs, DVDs, to where we are now using different platforms and, and cinemas. We, we are able to bring back the cinema culture and it's thriving and our actors are able to see good money from their sweat. It is a good time. But a lot of people have paid their dues and unfortunately, these promising young people paid the ultimate price. There's been talk about um, that there's supposed to be some things you're supposed to do. Now, let's talk about this in context. Of course, we are all on different pages as regards our spirituality or religion. And one thing you don't want to talk about in Nigeria is religion. religion That's the truth of the matter. But the really truth of the Koko Bise, we all cannot be on the same page. We can all say oh, we are worshipping the same God, but definitely we have different ways of worshipping God. And the truth of the matter is life is very spiritual. Or some people believe that, oh, you want to go across the river or whatever, you don't need anything, just wear your life jacket and you're fine. Some people believe that you have to appease the gods of the river. And whatever it is you believe in is what is your reality. Right? The spiritual world is so complex that nobody has the full understanding 
Just face your lane and do what works for you. And if it doesn't work for you, all well and good. Right. So, the guy in yellow is a survivor. He came out to talk about how when he was called, he called his uh, spiritual mother. And that one said, okay, don't worry, just go and do the needful. And he took Fanta. Fanta goes start to be expensive now. He took Fanta, poured it in the river, and gave ch the children some money, children around the river si side, some money, and he embarked on the journey. We saw him at some point in the boat where he was ringing a bell. Some people said he wasn't supposed to have rang the bell because it was a market day in that area. Right? So there's nothing like ringing a bell that is allowed. Now the question is, why did he have to ring the bell? Like I said, it's a whole complex discussion on his own. One member of the crew also said that, you know, while that was done, Pope was asking, this late Pope, asking the guy, that, why are you doing all of this? He said, ah, nah, me, I be, what that guy, you, I, I shall be all these things where they happen. And the other people said they cannot do it because they don't believe in it, they are Christians. Right? Now, like I said, it's a very complex discussion. And I'd rather not go there. Make everybody they owe their belief as you understand him. But now let's talk on the peripheral. The producer of the movie now is being, in fact, she has turned herself into the police. Dear Jelly, nobody say police go catch him. She don't turn herself into be like, make the, make she, she they then carry him. When they're voluntary, they say anything where they want to do with her, make them do. And she's a mother of a two month old baby. And people are saying that, okay, who should we blame for this? Okay. Ordinarily, if you're going on water, you have to wear the life jacket. A functional one. Nobody the one will be say, you know, good. Because you know a lot of us, we like all these chipe, chipe, chipe kind of things. Right. So a functional one, some said uh, the boat company did not have. Some, some said the boat company had, but they refused to wear it, or they refused to rent it. Hmm. God should just give us the wisdom that Anything that will save us, hmm? no matter how even expensive or how cheap it is, we should be able to log in so that we don't pay the ultimate price. You need to see the young family this guy left behind. You need to see the family of the makeup artist lady who they had to bury by the riverside because they were not able to raise enough money. I think a friend of us tried to bring a lot of people together to raise money, but the money was not enough. I think they raised 180,000 naira. And they needed 200,000 to transport. They transport her body, her corpse to her home. And they still have to do some rituals. So they just, and <laughs> when people, you know, pass on by the riverside, you the culture is that they should be buried there or else they will have to do. In fact, it's even now that we are hearing that they have to do rituals. If they do rituals, they can take the corpse back home. When we were growing up, it was about, they have to bury the person there, you know. So it's a very sorry one. It was a bad night for a lot of us um, when it happened. And we were just praying that, God, please, we don't want this kind of unfortunate incidents. We don't want this kind of pie of young, young people. Creative people. Somebody's husband. Somebody's son. Somebody's brother. Right? Trying to find money to feed their families. They were not going to do anything wrong. They were going to feed their lovely ones. Right? So coming with all of these things, it just makes us to say, okay, what have we learned from these things? We pray, may God use us to scapegoats. But when things like this happen, huh, we shouldn't wait and just shout and, blah, 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 and keep quiet again for the next one to happen. We should sit down and do our analysis. Okay, what have we learned? The AGN, um, headed by Emeka Rochas, Abirolas, has already brought some rules no no crew should do this no crew should act on the riverside or water this and this and this and nobody should the, the film has been suspended indefinitely he cannot bring those we don't go you know if we bring them back one can just imagine the kind of hurt the family is going through now honestly it's it's a very sorry thing and i pray uh, i know our actors and actresses go through a lot the thing where some of them don't use ic with their eyes don't experience. They know if, if they open mouth like this, make them talk them. We go even talk to make they not do some certain films again. We go even some they go do film finish. They will have manifestation of something we they not supposed to experience. 
life is indeed spiritual. And honestly, we want them alive, we want them well with their loved ones. We don't want any demise or unfortunate incidents again. This is one too many. Who is at fault? The actors who refuse to insist that they had to get a functional life jacket. Number two, is it the boat rider that they said was trying to do stunts? Where well, the boats now uh, capsided is another one. Number three, is it the guy in yellow who rang a bell? Some said the ringing of the bell was maybe on their way going, not on their way coming. That's as an apostrophe. Another one is, is it the producer of the movie who could not cater for the crew members? Because from all we are hearing, it's all this as about who the movie. We do respect to them that they are also. So I will not come here and run them down. Is there also? They will do the movie, whatever budget they have, and put it on YouTube or whatever, and small, small, small try to make their money. It's just like somebody who is a seller. You rent a shop. You just have small money. You are starting small, 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 small. Right? But whatever we are doing, please, health and safety is very, very important. You're shooting a movie across uh, that has to do with people moving across the river, River Niger. River Niger, Anam River, what do they call it? No divers available. 12 people inside the boats that are supposed to take like 5 people. No first aid. No medical personnel. Uh -uh. No life jackets. Come on guys, we can do better. We really can do better. This is an unfortunate one. And may all the souls of the departed rest in perfect peace. Please, we need to be very cautious. We need to be very cautious. Life is spiritual. A lot of things are happening. And even physically, there are some things we should not compromise on. We should, ha we should put them in place. Let's lay priorities on human life in our country. It is well with us. And may God give all the family members the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. Amen.